it is, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy, the enemy, theologians, historians, here it is, suggest that Jesus came in at about six, six foot two, six foot two, weighing in at 175 pounds, here it is, as a pescatarian, here it is, eating only fruits and vegetables and fish, lean, walking at least 10 to 13 miles a day in optimum shape, y'all ain't talking back to me, but his was crazy, the enemy had to test us, he had to test us because they then ripped open his robe, they then got, watch this, a whip, a cat of nine tails, and put pieces of charred glass and began to whip open his back until blood began to come down. They put a crown of thorn on his head and then twisted it. So it is that blood began to come down his face. They put a nine-inch spike in between his wrists and ran a 12-inch spike into his ankles because they wanted to see whether you would fall in love with Walt Disney Jesus. God help me, would you just love him for what he looked like? But would you love him when he looked ugly? And I'm talking to somebody in this room that says, I like the abused Jesus. Because when I realize he did it just for me, I gotta love him more because I understand he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity and by his stripes. I am healed, please. If they only love you when you look good like a runway model, they really ain't gonna stick around. But if they can love you when you got sleep in your eye, your breath stink, y'all ain't talking back to me. It ain't a good hair day, but they still see the value of who you are. That's when you know it's authentic. All right, uh, be seated, please. Hello. So watch this, um, Jacob said, I, I don't want the older sister, I want the younger one, because her body better. And the father, Laban says, all right, you got to work seven years for her. Seven years for her, and then after seven years, you can have her. And the father of the two girls tricks them. And doesn't give him the one he wants. Um, uh, he gives the one he didn't want. It's amazing. I ain't even preaching to you. I'm talking to somebody in the room behind you who worked hard for something. And what you thought you were going to get. After all of your sacrifice, after all your toil, after everything you had to give up, as soon as you got it, you realize this can't be what I was working for. Is that, are you serious, for real? This what my check look like? And, and Leah, Leah's feeling unloved um, because Leah is like a lot of people in the room who don't even know why you're still single. And, and all the more uh, why you feel unloved. He didn't want to, because the text says in Genesis 39, around verse number 14, the text says, watch this, uh, that Leah uh, has, um, has an eye stigmatism. That's a pretty word. Hood translation, she got cock eyes. Um, she's, so, so while she's looking in that direction, this is before LASIK surgery. So uh, while, while, while she's looking in this direction, another eye going somewhere else. He ain't even sure where she looking, y'all. See, some of you, God help me, watch this. Uh, some of you are going to have problems dating regular people. Watch this, because you see stuff different. Where their eyes are on one thing, God help me, you looking in another dimension. Because you understand where I am is not about the material stuff. I done had that, been there. God help me in here. I used to date ballers. Now I just need somebody that's going to love me. I, I, I can't hear nobody in here. You ain't got to buy me nothing. Just be faithful. You You ain't got to take me everywhere. Just don't lie to me. I'm, I'm looking in another direction. Has life been dealing you a bad hand? 
and down. Just spinning out of control. Well, get ready. ready. Help ready. is coming to Empowerment Temple with Fix My Life, the summer series. Where the quality of life begins to turn around in the right direction. Our pastor, Jamal Bryant, is going to show us how to fix our lives. June 2nd through September the 1st. Fix My Life. Players of all ages are welcome. But this is not a game. So it's hard, hard for her to date regular people because her eyes are on something else. And don't you know, a lot of people don't get you because the stuff that excites them don't even phase you because you in another season of your life. Y'all ain't talking back to me. When you were younger, you get excited about shoes and bags and trips. Now I need some stability. Bruh, how your credit? God, how many points on that license? Y'all ain't talking back to me. I need to know I can feel comfortable leaving you with my kid. I can't just have anybody running in and out of my house. I'm looking for something different. And they don't understand why you don't react and respond to stuff that trivial people do. It's because your eyes keep floating. You, you, you keep looking. Is there something more than this? I'm, I'm trying to be polite because you met me in church. You assume uh, I don't know street life and you don't, you, you, you don't know I can tell when a Negro trying to run game. And, God, and so, so that I don't embarrass you, I'm trying not to laugh in your face. But in my mind, I'm saying, who does this work for? You, you, you don't understand. I'm, I'm in a whole different season of life. Oh. So it's hard for her to, hard for her to be able to maintain, because her eyes kept looking in another direction. Not for anything material, not for anything tangible. I want to see who lines up with my destiny. I, I, I want to see who can answer the call of God for their life. I'm looking for somebody that when I'm going through, I don't need you to go to CVS. I need you to get on your knees. I, God, I can't hear no, I don't need you to loan me no money. I want to know if you can call on Jehovah Jireh. If, if I can get that kind of person, my eyes are floating. She's, um, she got another problem because she's built different. She's built different because she has a standard. And some of you all are not going to be able to receive it. Uh, I am too anointed to be the substitute. Don't come to me because it didn't work out with who you really wanted. Oh, y'all don't like me today. I, I am not the jump off. I'm not the side chick. When you get me, you're going to know you done got the real prize. And the pleasure is all yours. Uh, elbow your neighbor tell him I am not team two I, I, I am not second string I am not the substitute I'm somebody worth working for I'm, I'm somebody worth waiting on God has called me out to be separated so you got another problem and um Y'all ain't gonna like it. Be seated, please. Um, see, another problem, watch this. Uh, Cause Jay don't love her. Um, this is in the Bible, Genesis 39. Uh, he don't love her, hear me. He ain't even attracted to her, um, but he'll sleep with her. Uh, and God help me. Um, and it don't even mean nothing to him. Because he already said, I want the sister. God. And with her silly self, she thinks, she must be from Baltimore, she thinks. <laughs> she thinks, if I give him a baby, God, just look straight ahead. If I give him a baby, and maybe if I give him a baby with his 
name on it, he'll say you are crazy. You got to have a different standard for your life. Be seated, please. So sleep with them and giving them kids. <laughs> She's giving them kids from the same dude that don't love her. God help me, who wants somebody else, but she keeps sleeping with them. And now we get to the text. The gospel is free. It's just expensive to get it out. God has challenged me and compelled me. Jamal, you are a part of a local church, but you ought to have a global impact. Technology affords us to do that kind of ministry, and I need you to be an investor in it. I'm telling you, this investment is gonna reap a harvest around the world. God is using us to reach people who would have never stepped foot in church. Would you kindly, prayerfully consider sowing a seed into our ministry so that all over the diaspora, young adults might be able to find Jesus Christ and have their lives revolutionized. If you are not a part of the solution, you're a part of the problem. Be an investor. The emotional, moral deficit in our community is coming to an end because of the investment in this kind of ministry. God bless you. And please, please help us help the gospel get out. And God saw she wasn't loved. And because she didn't know any better, God said, I'm going to step in. Because you don't know how to respect yourself. Oh my God. I'm going to get in the middle of this. Because I'm tired of you playing yourself. For somebody who don't even want you. Y'all ain't talking back to me. He, he says I'm going to show you what real love is. He said the next time you have a child. God help me. I'm getting ready to show you. I'm putting my name on it. Because when you get this next blessing, I want you to know a man didn't do it for you. But there is a God that sits high and looks low. And I can tell some of y'all ain't shouting because you ain't never got to a place where you got hurt by somebody who you wanted to love, but they wouldn't love you back. But you found out there's a Savior by the name of Jesus. And the reason why I got to love him is he loved me when I didn't love myself. Would you look at your neighbor and say, he preaching about me. I did some silly stuff. I chased after somebody who wasn't even worth it. I kept waiting for the car. I kept waiting that their mind would change. But they haven't made me yet. But I found a God that loved me even when I wasn't faithful. He looked beyond my faults. And he met me right there y'all I got to go but would you look at your neighbor and say neighbor I'm not waiting on anybody to make up their mind by now they should know I'm worth it I done stuck with them through the hard season I prayed for when they wouldn't pray for themselves I sacrificed my needs just to make sure that they were happy to tell you it's your turn now you deserve to be loved you deserve to be happy you deserve to be satisfied all right be seated my time is up be seated uh, i've gone too far uh, be seated uh, be seated i'm done um, huh. He says, um, because I saw you were unloved, I'm talking maybe to about 800 of you, 
Because I saw you unloved. Watch this. I am opening your womb. What I'm going to do for you, because you've been unloved, I am giving you the power to produce. Because I'm tired of you feeling empty. And she began to produce. And some of y'all not going to be able to receive it, but I'm in the Word. And um, the woman, he left her for her womb shut. God loves you so much. He's shutting down your competition. God, I can't hear nobody. That nobody will be able to bring to the table what it is that you offer. God said, I saw you while you were unloved. And, and the text says, just last point, and uh, I bid you adieu. Um, the text says that she said, this time, this time, all these years, all these months, all these holidays, I done done everything to try to make them love me. I'm done with that. This time, I'm producing, and what I'm going to produce, uh, I'm naming it Judah. Uh, and Judah means I will praise the Lord. Y'all get ready to miss it. What she was saying is what I need y'all to get. Everything I did to get somebody else, I'm going to now channel that energy to get God. Y'all don't like me. I, some of y'all can't get with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking for those of you who don't even know you in the delivery room. You are getting ready to produce Judah. There's a praise inside of you that's getting ready to come out and it ain't to impress none of these Negroes in here. But I'm giving God glory because I owe him honor. I, I don't know where you are, but I need 800 of you right now. Would you give God praise for, for loving you when you gave up on yourself? Will, will you give him praise for standing in the gap? This time, I'm doing it for Judah. I need you right where you are. Right where you are. God told me to tell you, I ain't feeling the love. You thought I was talking about you. I said, I ain't feeling the love. Because I seen you when you turned out. I, um, I seen you turned all the way up. I, God help me. I, I seen you when you've lost it over somebody. You, you're going to keep calling till they answer. You, God help me. You show up uninvited. I can't find real people in the room. You, you text them and you get mad if they don't respond immediately. God said, treat me like you treated them. Knowing I'm going to do you better. I can't hear nobody. Do me a favor with your best sound of worship. With your best sound of worship. Would you worship God more, uh, more than you've loved anybody in your life? Come on, come on. I, I need you to open up your mouth. Come on, where are my worshipers? Is that all you got? Lift him up. We worship you, oh God. We worship you. Come on, I need you to cry it out. I need you to lift up your voice. I need you to scream even right now. God, I need you. I need you. I need you. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Fix My Life Volume 2 is God healing your heart. I want you to meet in ministry. I need y'all to help me. I want to open up this altar very quickly. 
I want to open up this altar very quickly for some people in the room who are saved. You got a relationship with God, but your heart is